Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, honeycomb. There's my girls. Hi, Deb. What's up, Jen? Good morning, everybody. We're going to give it a minute or two before we get started. Good morning, Mars. Good morning. How we doing out there? Everybody woke up early on a Sunday, ready to work out with me. Tara, good morning. Yay, everybody's here. Hi, grandmas. Wow. Okay, guys. So, just before we get started, let's make sure you guys have a band. So, I'm going to stick with a light to medium band for the entire entire for the entire um leg series oblique series arm series you can always have options if you want a heavier band or if you want a lighter band you can mix it up you could add them both on up to you and then a pair of weights i'm somewhere in the middle i'm about five pounds again you can use options if you have them and then a mat and some gliders and we're gonna get started all right i'm drinking a power drink, an energy drink. 90 minutes of exercise on a Sunday morning. Coffee's just not, not doing it for me. Okay guys, so, we are going to start on our backs this morning. So when you're ready, I want you guys to meet me on the mat and lie flat down on your backs here. So when you lie down, let's see. I want you to roll your head, your neck, your shoulder blades, nice and flat down onto the mat. I'm gonna set it up for you, and then we'll get started with that timer. You're gonna lie down on your backs. Option to grab hand weights if they feel good in the exercise. Roll down on your back. Hands are gonna come straight back behind your head here. Bring your knees into that tabletop position. And then I want you to just think about lifting your head up for one, neck up for two, shoulder blades up for three. I want you to pull your rib cage down towards your hip line on four. And then inhale, start to lengthen back down for one. Lengthen back down for two. Lengthen back down for three and for four. So take a nice big deep breath, inhale for me. And then on your exhale, I want you to slow, start to round all the way up for three and for four. So you guys are gonna be at this for a full minute this morning. I'm just gonna scoot you over. We're gonna add onto it. Not yet, 30 seconds. Up, two, three, four, down two, three, and four. So in about 15 seconds, I'm gonna ask you to start to incorporate some legs in the exercise. Now, your hands are gonna come away from your head. Your legs are gonna lengthen out. Eight seconds from right now, we're gonna to start to use those arms with your legs. Ready? Five, four, three. First thing you're gonna do is hold those shoulder blades lifted, reach between your thighs, now add a little pulse right here. Go up one, 
come down one. You're gonna reach between those thighs, little pulses, up and down, exhale, lift and lower. You go up and down, 20 seconds. You're gonna start to send the legs forward, return your head back down to your mat. Ready, five, four, three, straight legs, arms lift high right now. Go straight legs out for one, arms lift up for two, legs are long on three, head is down, arms stack the shoulders. Now as you reach with the upper body, start to draw the knees in for two, draw the knees in for three, draw the knees in over your hips on four. Now press it away for one. Make sure the small of your lower back is anchored to the mat here. No arching in that lower back. Exhale. Then pull your bottom rib down towards the front of those thighs. 15 seconds left. You're going to turn this into 100. And then we're going to flip it over. You got 10 seconds left. I just want you to come up off those shoulder blades and hold in five, in four, in three, in two. So right here, up and off those shoulder blades, just the hands. You pump down, pump down, pump down. So just pumping with the arms, with the triceps here, lifting your chin off of your chest, pulling your ribcage straight down towards the front of your thighs. Maybe to work a little harder, you slide the knees forward half an inch further. 10 seconds from right now, you're gonna flip this over, we go right to your plank. Five more, find your plank. Four, three, two, here we go. Coming out of that warm up, you guys are in a plank position here. So hands on your mat, and then toes are gonna go one foot each on a glider. Press out into your plank position. You should be here in five, four, in three, in two, you're gonna pick your hips, straight legs start to lift, up one, up two, up three, up on four, those legs, back one, tuck the hips, plank two, tuck the hips, plank three, now squeeze your lower body, four counts, it's up one, two, three, and four. So in this plank to pike, on your hands, the range of motion is not what's going to make this exercise the most efficient. It's really making sure that as you pick the hips, it's stemming from your abdomen and not the front of your thighs, right? Not those quads. So squeeze the inner thighs together. Try to keep the strain out of the front of your legs. Tuck those hips, squeeze your glutes. You guys are more than halfway through this. Realign those shoulders with your wrists. 15 seconds. You're gonna go for just a quick little variation before we start your oblique series. Five more mountain climbers. Four, three, two mountain climbers. Take your left knee, go right, go left, Go right. So I like it slower to really make sure that you're pulling from the low belly, right? And not driving with the legs. Hips should be in line with your shoulders. Tailbone like a third leg. Pull it straight into the back of your heels. Let's go. One up. Ten seconds from right now. You're going into your left oblique. You're going to stay with me, team. you got five more here. I want you to press plank and hold. You've got one minute in plank. Three, two, press all the way out. Mars, I know how much you love me on this. Take that left knee, hold it up in line with your chest. Now right knee, bring it in one. Bring your right knee in two. Right leg goes back one. Right leg goes back two. Right knee, pull it in one. Right knee, pull it in two. So the secret on this exercise is to make sure you're holding that left knee up as close to your chest as you can here. The weight of that left leg, left leg should be applied to the left side of your abdomen. Now, to modify, you're gonna place both feet down on your glider. You're gonna rotate your knees to the right. You're gonna bring your knees up together. You got 
20 seconds left here. And then I have you flipping this over. I have you on your backs next. So wherever you are, push through for 10 seconds. You guys have five, you have four, you have three, two. You're gonna sit down on your tailbone for me. So let's come up off those shoulders. You're gonna sit down on your tailbone and then I want you to grab a hand with As you sit on your tailbone, lift the feet up off the ground, lean back with your shoulders here. So you're kind of in that V position. Hands holding the hand weight, fingertips clasped together. Lift your knees high enough to feel this in your low belly. Now start to rotate for one. Rotate and tap that left elbow on two. Bring it center for one and center for two. Now, modify. Try not to use your hand weight here. Twist one, twist and tap two. Up for one, up for two. An even better modification if you're feeling too much hip flexor is to bring your feet down onto the floor, right? I want you to make sure that you're at a level that's gonna work for you. You're not lifting and lowering with the torso, you're twisting. It's over for one, over for two. 15 seconds, you're gonna go right into a side plank. 10 seconds more, left forearm comes down, knees or feet in your plank. You have five here, you have four left, you have three, two, so for your side plank, knees or feet, left forearm is down, up into that side plank position. So I'll show you the modification after I show you the full range movement. I want you to bring your right hand behind your head. Take your right elbow to your left fingertips. Two counts. We start to bring it down for one and down for two. It's up for one. It's up for two. So now as you wrap that right arm, that right shoulder down, I want you to try and keep your hips stacked here. You're not allowing that right hip to roll forward. Modification would be the exact same thing, just on your knees. You have 15 seconds left here. One last downward facing oblique exercise. We move into your legs. I want you to squeeze your glutes, honeycomb. Lift that left hip a little higher. You have five more. We go to twisted plank. In four, three, stay here. Square your forearms down towards the mat. Step your feet onto your glider. Left foot is in front of your right foot. Come on up to the balls of your feet. Now take that left hip and slide it up for one. Up for two. It's down for one. Squeeze your glutes as you plank down for two. It's up for one. It's up for two. It's down for one. And it's down for two. Up, up, down, and down. So you guys are here for just about 30 seconds longer. I want you to make sure you're keeping that right hip drawn back in space for me. You're not allowing that right hip to wrap down to the ground. Squeeze those inner thighs. Try and keep only the thighs together. Space between your feet. 15 seconds. 10 more. Before you come out of that plank, you're gonna center off. You're gonna square the hips. In three, in two, so right here, just uncross your legs. Your elbows stay down, right foot in line with the right hip. Bring your legs together for a more challenging plank position. 15 seconds, just find power in that stillness, in that silence. Roll your frontal hip points up, squeeze your glutes, your inner thighs, back is nice and flat. You're here for five. We stand up, grab your band in four, three, two. Okay guys, so you're gonna grab your band. We're gonna get started in those legs. I want you to take your left foot first. You're gonna wrap the shin of your left leg in the band. Take your right foot, arch is gonna go into the band and on a glider. Now when you're ready, press the right leg back for one, back for two, back for three. Now you're here, hold it. Your left knee is bent, 
Your right leg is nice and long. Holding at the deepest base you can in that left leg. Hips are squared off like headlights. Drawn up into the bottom of your cage. You're gonna slow walk that right knee forward in five, in four, three, right knee. You walk it in for one, in for two, in for three, and in for four. So like I said when I started this, for transitional purposes, I'm gonna keep on my light to medium band. If you guys feel strong this morning, if you're looking to level up this challenge, I want you to throw on maybe an extra band or maybe a heavier band to make this exercise feel a little bit more of a challenge. Now, as you're moving, you must anchor that left heel to the ground, right? So there's a strong force pressing down with the left heel as you wrap that right hip forward. 15 seconds, you're gonna go for a tiny little pulse. Check in with that left thigh. Are you at your base lunge? Maybe you take it down a little deeper. We're gonna pulse in three, in two. So now your right knee is in line with your right hip. We go for two right here. It's down, it's down, it's up, it's up right here. Go down, down, up halfway. Go down, up, go down. Uh, you have 10 seconds before we take that right leg and walk it back out to finish this. Here we go. You have five. You have four. You have three, two. Left thigh moves back to parallel. Extend that right leg back for one and back for two. Now bring that right knee forward for one and forward for two. Go back for one. And back for two. 15 seconds from right now, you're going to keep your legs exactly how they are. In this band, we're going to peel your right foot up from the floor. You ready? Five more. We're going to go for a standing kickback. Four, three, two. So what I want from you is to stand up. Left foot is going to stay on the floor here. Right foot. You're going to peel it up and away from the ground. So your working leg is going to be in that stationary stance. Your right leg is going to be lifted here. Reach back with your hips. Keep that right heel close to the back of your right thigh. Now send it back for one, back for two. Forward one, forward two. Right knee goes back, back. Bring it forward, bring it forward. Now, there's a few things to consider here. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of better view of my messy, messy living room. When you're kicking the right leg back, I want you to make sure you're keeping your right hip drawn in line with the left hip, right? You're not opening in the pelvis. Your left knee, it maintains that soft bend. So reach back with your hips. So let's track that left knee. Make sure it's in line with the edge of your left hip and the heel of your left foot. You got 10 seconds left here. You should start to feel this in the standing leg, the outer glute, outer thigh. You got five, give me your hold, in four, in three, in two, stagger your stance, lighten your fingertips, left knee, two counts, bend one, two, press one, two, bend, two, press for two, reach your hips, go sit, go sit, Go lift, left leg straighten, and sit back. Eight seconds, back to your movement, five. You're gonna hold your left leg stationary. Add that kick in four, in three, in two. Pull your bottom rib down, right leg back. Go kick, resist for two, 20 seconds. You finish your legs, resist for two. Here we go, kick. Two, resist, stay with it, honeycomb. You guys have 10 seconds left right here. And then you're gonna give me one last exercise on your mat with that left leg. In five, in four, in three, in two. So keeping that band on, you're gonna come down. Left foot is gonna hold onto the band here. So right shin goes to the band. You can use a hand weight. 
if it feels better for you. I want you to bring your elbows down to the mat. Your back is in tabletop. Your left heel is covered by the band. Your right ankle pressing into the mat here. Now, keeping that left knee in line with your left hip, I want you to add resistance, add tension to your band, and start with a hold. So it's a whole lot of hamstring heat here. Pull your left hip down towards the mat as you wrap your right hip up towards the ceiling. Press through the forearms, lifting the rib cage, the chest even further away from the ground. 10 seconds. We're gonna go for an extension with your left leg. In five, keep resistance. In three, in two, left leg, go out one, out two, out three, out four, left heel, pull it in. Two, don't drop the knee, three and four. Left leg, walk it out. Four, two, four, three, and four. Pull it back in. Two, three, and four. Making sure you don't collapse in that lower back. Keep your rib cage drawn in towards your midline. Now let's lean a little bit heavier into that left forearm. 10 seconds, left leg stays long. We pulse in five. In four, keep that left leg long. In three, in two, left leg is long. We go pulse right here, kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. Go straight left, it's up, 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 up. You have 10 seconds left. Can you get lighter on that right hand? Maybe 10 the fingertips, lift the elbow. Hang in, last seven. You're gonna go for that hold, that stillness. In five, four, three. Finish that left leg here, add resistance, just hold. Don't go anywhere, don't change anything. Hold that power, driving that left thigh to the ceiling. Eight seconds, you're gonna drop it off. We go walk out burpees in four, in three, in two. So drop the band, stand up. Take a nice big deep breath, inhale here. Reach those arms towards the ceiling. Hinge forward from the hips, reach for your toes. Walk it all the way out to your plank position. Give me that push up. Walk back. Stand up. So as you're moving here, just try to find that balance. Moving some heat from the left side. Getting ready for the right side. 30 seconds, honeycomb, and we are turning this around. We are going home. Things move a little bit quicker on your dominant side, right? So take a deep breath. Take it all in. Yes, Christina. You guys have just about 10 seconds here. You guys have five more, and I want you to hold your plank. In three, in two. So you're gonna press all the way out into that plank position. Now this side, hold that right knee to your chest. Draw the left knee forward. Two, three, four. Press the left leg back. Two, three, four. It goes in. Two, three, four. Send it out. 30 seconds here. How high can you lift that right knee from the ground? 20 seconds. We're gonna go right into that tailbone twist. Eight seconds, get ready to sit down on your mat. In four, in three, in two. So right here, take a seat on your mat, grab your hand weight, lean back. Option to lift those heels. Remember, you scale back however you feel necessary. Right elbow taps the mat, square your shoulders, chest to the ceiling. Here we go, it's twist. It's twist, it's center, it's center. Again, go twist, twist, center, center. So again, as you guys add that rotation, try not to lift or lower 
the height of your torso. Zip those inner thighs together. Keep your knees drawn in. Lift your shins to the ceiling. You hit that side plank in 20 seconds. Check in with your breathing. Don't hold your breath. Suck your belly in. 10 more. Right to your side plank. Five more. Right forearm down. Four, three, two. So bring that right forearm down onto your mat. Again, knees or feet onto your glider. Start in that side plank. Hold it here for me. Take that left hand behind your head. Now two counts, wrap it right fingers. You go down for one, down for two. It's up for one, and up, squeeze your butt. Go down, go down, go lift, go lift. So your hips should be silent here. Stacked and stationary. Eight seconds more, right into that twisted plank. You cross your legs for me in four, in three, in two. So it's that last downward facing exercise here. Right foot is in front of your left. Elbows are down. Right hip. You lift up one and up two. Lower, down one, down two. It's up, up, and down. Now as you lift the left hip towards the ceiling, be careful you don't lean with your shoulders. Pressing the feet outward here. This is it, your final 20 seconds. Ten seconds. You're up to start your right leg. In five. We're standing four, three, two, come on up. Grab that band, grab that glider for me. So now your right shin is gonna get wrapped up in that band. Your left arch on that glider. Now find your lunge, down one. Find your lunge, down two. Find your lunge for three. So you're stationary right here in what looks like a lunge hold. Wrap the right hip back, pull the rib cage together, brush the shoulders down out of your ears, follow or honor that tilt in your pelvis with a slight hinge forward. Left knee, bring it in. Three, two, it's slow right here. Bring it in for one, in for two. Right hip, wrap it back. Three and four, left leg, kick it, out one. Two, three, four. So continue to check in with that knee, ankle, knee, hip, hip, shoulder alignment. I want you to make sure as you're sliding that back foot in and out, it's more of a rotation with your pelvis, right? That clockwise spin, right hip draws back, left hip pulls forward. Now see if you can find a deeper base here. You guys have 15 seconds. You're gonna go right into that split squat pulse. Both knees, they're gonna be bent 90 degrees. Here we go, four, in three, it's two counts. Take the left knee, lower, down, down. Go lift, lift. You lower, you lower, you lift from the right heel, right? Lower, drop the left knee, press into the right heel. 15 seconds, back full range. You have 10 seconds. I want you to drop that right hip down, close to parallel with that right knee. In four, in three, in two. Now pull those transverse abs in towards the midline, just your left leg, out, out, out. Stretch that band, bring it in. In, in, stop at 90. Open up your chest here. Flush your bottom rib down. 10 seconds, you're gonna need me for those standing kickbacks. Eight seconds from right now. 
walk it off. Standing kickbacks, three, two, so keep your band on. I want you to give me a light fingertip touch on a stable surface. I want you to pull that left heel to the ceiling, soften and reach back. We go back, go back, resist, forward. Kick, kick, resist, forward. So remember, slight soft bend to the right knee. Pull those frontal hip points up into the bottom of your cage for me. Reach back a little bit deeper with those hips. Shoulders out of your ears. How light can you get with that upper body? So if you've got both hands on that stable surface, maybe you take the right hand, bring it to your hip. You want to find that balance with your core, that stability through your abs and not through the upper body. 15 seconds from right now, you're going to bend that right knee. We're going to go for that strong little pulse here. Can you sit back any deeper for me? You have five. You have four. You have three. Two. Press back. Two counts. Right leg. Bend. Go bend. Go stand. Squeeze at the top. Sit for two and stand for two. Remember, you're light as a feather in those fingertips here. Maybe peel the palm off that surface. Close your eyes to challenge your balance. You guys have five seconds left. We go straight to full range here in three, in two, add it on. Let's go two counts. It's back, back, resist, resist. Go back. You have 15 seconds before we walk into your final right side. The end of your right leg is on that mat. Five more, meet me on your mat in four, three, two, so one last time. Kneel down on that mat for me. You're gonna take your left knee, bring it down onto the mat. You're gonna take your right knee, pull it up into that tabletop position. Right heel should wear the band. One more time. Just establish that stillness. That place where you can feel the tension starting to talk to your right hamstring, but you keep the control to avoid collapsing in that lower back. To stimulate that core challenge, square those hips down, lift that chest. You have four, three, walk that right leg. Here we go. Out. Out, out, out. Go in, 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 in. Do you have a minute left in that right leg? Come on, Sunday. It's with control. Pull the heel back without dropping the right knee down. Out, out, out. If you're not close to failure, close to fire in that right side of your glute and thigh. You need a heavier band. You need more height with the leg. Careful not to sink into that left hip. Lift your chest here. 10 seconds, you're going to explode. Right leg stays straight. You find your pulse in four, in three, in two. Little pulse right here, go up, down. Up, down, we're gonna bring it home in this song. This is your final push. You're gonna drop that band in less than 20 seconds. Before I have you drop that band, one last time, you end in silence. Straight leg, max resistance. Four, three, two, press up, just hold. 10, eight, six, find your plank for me in four, three, Two, drop that band, hands to your mat, toes to your glider, four, three, two, plank pose. Fifteen seconds. You're going to walk out that plank. You go elbows to palms. Right here in eight. Six. In four. Three. Two, squeeze those glutes right here. Go elbow, elbow, palm, palm, 
You are out of here. Your 30 minute sculpt session is successfully completed. I need 12 seconds of your day. 10. You have eight seconds left. We cross that finish line in five, four, three, two, done. Happy Sunday. Thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Marissa. That was your 30 minute sculpt. I'll see you Thursday, 9.30, right here. Have a great day.